Hi, I'm Janice Peterson. I'm one of the presenters on SBS World News. I think um, SBS really feels like a family, I suppose. A lot of people have worked here for, for many years. Um, the ladies who have helped me with my hair and makeup, for instance, just over there, they were here when I was a production assistant. I used to roll the auto cue for Mary Costakidis. And I was very junior back then. And I think it's a testament to the organisation that there are still these familiar faces there. They're, they're like family. We know each other's backstories. Um, we're all, you know, we're pretty good friends. So it's, it's a lovely place to come back to. I went to the ABC, another great organisation, but lovely to come back here and, you know, just feeling comfortable again and being surrounded by people that I know. I think I've been very fortunate that I haven't had too much of that overt racism. And I suppose the more insidious day to day, the hidden racism is also painful, feeling like you're being followed in shops and department stores. And, and I know that that definitely used to happen to me a bit more when I was younger and perhaps I didn't dress as well but I would yeah just uh, only in the past five years I could feel myself being followed in a department store and you know I'm doing quite well professionally I have money to buy uh, you know the, the shoes and the handbags and the clothes but I suppose to a security guard if I'm off duty I'm just another black face and thing like that but as a kid you know, I didn't really have to deal with racism that much. And I think the thing that helped me was that I was good at sport and Aussies love sport. So mm -hmm. for me, that was my passport to popularity mm -hmm. of sorts. Well, it's difficult. You know, I was a shy kid, so I didn't have that much to draw on. I had a very strong family. I think you just have to be true to yourself and you have to be proud of who you are. I've never wanted to look any different. I haven't wanted lighter skin or anything like that. You have to just embrace what you've been given and celebrate your diversity and look where my diversity's got me today. I've got a fantastic job and my background and having you know, a bit of a different background has really helped me professionally. Well, my mum is a very strong woman. I think the, the, the qualities that I've learnt from her are probably resilience and generosity. So she was a very strong, independent woman. She always had her own businesses. Financially independent from my dad, I, I, I got to see that you didn't have to rely on a man to get by. And as much as she threw at her work and she was very passionate about the work that she did, she always had time for family and it was always family first. And that's, I hope, what I take away from growing up with my mum. You have to think outside the box. So if you're at university, you have to volunteer to work on the university newspaper or volunteer at a radio or TV station. It's not enough to just do the coursework. So think about how you can make yourself a marketable, valuable um, contributor to, to broadcast media or the written media you know, develop your own blog site. Even if you are, it's only you and your friends reading it, at least you're showing that you have passion and drive and that you can commit to something and that you're, what you have to say is of value. International Women's Day to me is celebrating diversity, of course, and of all the contributions that women make and, and how they make our lives greater. It's, it's acknowledging that we've come a long way, but that we have a long way to go as well. And, you know, I look to someone like the Pakistani schoolgirl education activist, Malala Yousafzai, who is incredible. You know, she, in her short life has dedicated so much to her cause of trying to uh, 
get more girls educated because of course being educated means you make better decisions when it comes to contraception, that you're able to perhaps make better choices when it comes to healthcare, that your job prospects improve and that you could be more financially independent and viable. And I just think she's an inspiration. We need to nurture and develop and celebrate wonderful women like her and especially young people. So inspiring. I think be strong. Be true to yourself. Be proud of who you are. It's, uh, we all need to look within ourselves and I think we need to continue the legacy of other people. So we need to draw inspiration from other people, not just herald their achievements, but think, how can I incorporate that into my everyday life and how can I be a good influence on the beautiful women in my life?